this is screened. So this is your back porch. Screened in with lots of palms. And the water is over that way, about 100 yards. You can see it right there. Another nice little extra window here for light. And there. All kinds of light. And still be able to shut it for privacy if you wanted. This is to go downstairs. We'll go down there later. This is the first of the guest bedrooms, which has a bath, full bath off of it. So your guests at night can lock that off. And then they have a full, full bathroom for this room, which is probably the smallest, but a decent size. Like the hardwood floors throughout. But this is really good for guests for this third bedroom. We'll go upstairs. Might need some new carpet. Leads you right to the master. And you have nice bright lights. I mean bright windows. Bringing the light in. Cans. Um, nice barn door. And go outside for a second. Patio off the master. That's some nice nature and palms out here. Looks like a cute little house right there. Adorable. And there's the water right there. So, um, your boat would be literally less than a football yard away. Dual vanities and shower. Low step in, that's good with tub. And they didn't shut the toilet. Never do that. Toilet. <laughs> nice size walk in closet with semi custom <laughs> yeah. wood shelves. Linen closet. Nice. Put your there. Ceiling fans. Just keep going. Uh, wash and dryer. Still here, still connected. It's one less thing. I took pictures of all the appliances. So you can see model numbers in here. I've already taken pictures of all this. So you can see also the year in the model. Nice size room. And here has a nice little nook for your TVs and whatnot. And then this also has a bathroom connected. So that is great for guest number two, that they can have their own bathroom. All right, so. That is the upstairs.